Hey, what's up, nerds? Today I'm going to talk about how modern Magic the Gathering art kind of sucks. So thanks to anybody viewing out there. I really appreciate the likes and the subscribes, and you can ring that little bell if you want to see my latest videos. I'm probably going to slow down to about one a week with some shorts thrown in in there. I'm just trying to maintain my own sanity. Anyway, old thing to say there, Boomer. Magic the Gathering art sucks these days, but I'll tell you, I was flipping through my phone and I saw the new version of Ren and a Tree. I think it's Ren and Realmbreaker. Looks like a cool card and really good for mana fixing. Probably have a place in Commander and anything else, especially if you're one of those five color deck players. But that aside, being a collector like I am, the art is kind of what draws me sometimes. And I looked at the art of that card and I was sorely disappointed. It's just kind of pale and uninspired. So I did a little digging with my new friend ChatGPT. Yeah, that's right. I use a little AI to help me understand the world. It's kind of like doing a Google search that does a little bit of your thinking for you. Now, you got to be careful because it's told me some dumb things in the past. But I was unaware that modern magic art is largely produced digitally. Digital drawing is very popular. I work at a school, I'm a school counselor, and I have a lot of students that are in the arts and they draw digitally all the time. So it's not a surprise. But what I would like to say is that digital drawing added to the relentless schedule of releases that Magic has, has kind of turned Magic art into a digital sweatshop. And I'm not really impressed with what they're producing most of the time. I know, I know. Okay, Boomer. Yeah, that's right. I'm old. But I like the original artworks. Some of them are really inspired. Some of them are not. They at least had some humanity to them. What am I talking about? I've got a perfect example here. Sarah Angel was one of our favorite cards to play with back in the day, and I wish I had an original black bordered version of it. The original art by Douglas Schuler was hand-drawn and painted. It's a beautiful composition that fills the picture frame and actually spills outside of it. This is a technique that I remember learning way back in art school where you're breaking the picture plane. And it's just, it's beautiful. It leaves a lot to your imagination. This angel is emotive. You can tell that she is feeling something inspired, almost stoic, the look on her face. I, I love the original artwork. It's fantastic. And it has Douglas Schuler's style. You can look at this. You can look at the other paintings that he did for magic and you can see the same techniques. And then you look at, I believe this artwork originally showed up in Dominaria. So it's, it's part of the modern digital age and it's fine, but it just feels uninspired. When you look closely at this, you don't, feel the human touch. You see muted colors and everything's kind of blended together. I also don't like the composition nearly as much. I mean, this is a little evocative and I'm not just talking about the cleavage. So get past that people. It's evocative because I don't see the whole thing. It's evocative because of her pose and her position. And, you know, you can almost feel what this angel is thinking or feel what she's feeling. I don't know. But when you look at this version of the Sarah Angel, it's just, well, it's just not as inspired to me. And I'm not trying to insult the artist, Donato Giancola. I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying this is modern art. And I feel like it's a little soulless compared to the things people were creating originally. Again, hey man, it's art. Everybody has their own opinion. But I just thought that was a good illustration of what I'm talking about. Am I crazy? Am I wrong? Are you like, dude, have you seen the really cool things they're doing with cards these days? Yeah, I have. But man, that original art just hits differently. It just, it feels imperfect and it feels human and it feels like something that was produced out of love, not out of necessity and grind. I guess that kind of sounds like how I'm feeling about making these YouTube videos. I love to talk about magic cards and I love to share it with people. And I'm not going to stop doing that, but I've got to do it out of love and not just for the sweatshop grind of it. So until next time, 
Take care of yourselves, nerds. I love you guys out there. Have fun. Have fun playing, collecting, whatever you do, and be kind to each other. See you soon.